In this video, we're going to talk about adding graphics to your PowerPoint presentation. Uh, so here I went to this slide that I made in a previous uh, video called Graphics here. And this video, uh, this uh, slide has a title and then it has the text box over here. When you first make a slide like this, right on the text box you can add some graphics. So right over here I can add a table. I can add a chart. Now we're not going to do the chart that way. We're going to add the chart from Excel, but you could do it that way. Uh, a smart art is a, a bunch of business graphics that they have built in for you. Uh, then we have a, um, a picture, clip art, or a video. So you can do those things right here. So for example, I'll pick on insert a table. And it wants to know how many columns and how many rows are in the table. So I'll say, uh, let's say, six columns and four rows. And just like that, I have a table, uh, like, just like you would use in, in uh, Microsoft Word. Uh, but notice once I use that, or if that's not there at all, then I have to find another way to add graphics onto my uh, PowerPoint slide. So really, you're going to use the Insert menu quite a bit. I'm going to click on Insert. Now here, you have a lot more choices. Here's the table again. Uh, let's do a picture. I'll say Insert Picture. And then you're going to point to a picture file that might be on your computer. So let me use one of these, for example. This is probably going to be a picture of me. Uh, this is a picture with uh, some kids from my friends. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and minimize that picture. Move it over here. I can resize it, of course. Okay. Uh, the green circle means I can rotate that picture. So all I really did was insert and then picture, and then you point to a picture file on your computer. Once, uh, now, once you click on the picture, notice how you get the format menu, and there's many things you can do um, with that picture. Maybe I'll do that on a different video. But here, I just want to show you how to add the pictures to your PowerPoint slide. In this case, uh, let me resize it again to make room for more things. We're going to say insert. Um, you can see that there's table, picture. Let's try a clip art. And in this case, this window comes up on the side. So you search for anything. So for example, I'm going to search for the word car and see if there's any that have cars in there. I'll click on go. And these are graphics that come with PowerPoint. So I'm going to scroll down and you see a couple of different uh, cars there. Oh, this one kind of reminds me of my car back at home. I'm just kidding. All right, so uh, I'm going to go with this little uh, race car. I'm just going to click on it. And now that picture is in my presentation as well. So let's go back to the insert menu. Uh, here's a really interesting one. It's called a screenshot. So I actually just started this in, um, in PowerPoint 2010. So that means you can actually pick a, uh, a part of a screen from a different program. If you've ever used the snippet tool or the snagit tool or something like that, it's going to be the same kind of thing, except now it's built right into PowerPoint. Let me show you an example of that. Let's say that um, I have a document open. And let's say the doc document is going to be a PDF file. So I'm just trying to find a file here on my computer. Okay, so uh, this, this PDF file is going to be a picture of uh, some data. So I'm going to go in there and go into the orders PDF. Now, what if I wanted part of this on my PowerPoint uh, presentation? So what you do first is you open up um, the screen from which you want to copy. You go back to PowerPoint. You come up here, you pick on the insert menu, and you pick on the, the word screenshot. Now you go to the bottom one. If you picked on one of these, it would have given you the entire window, which is fine sometimes. But I want a screen clipping. So I want to pick on screen clipping. And what it'll do is it'll go back to the most recent window that you just had opened. Now you highlight part of that screen as, as much as you wanted to or as little as you wanted to. Let's say I wanted this over here. So I just highlight that part of the screen. And now it brought that image into my PowerPoint presentation. But it was just the part of the screen that I had highlighted, And now it's like any other picture. 
really a great feature there. You should rewind that section a couple times. So basically, you open up the program from which you want to copy. We'll go back in there again. Let's say I want to scroll down now. And we'll pick a different section this time. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to have that open. I'll go back to PowerPoint. I'll say Insert, Screenshot, click on Screen Clipping. That goes back to the most recent screen that you just had open. And then you're going to highlight a part of that screen. And it's going to put that, that highlighted part right into your PowerPoint presentation. So that's a great new feature that's available in PowerPoint 2010 and 2013. Let's go back to the Insert menu. Uh, here you have geometric shapes. You can put those into your presentation. I'm going to go to Smart Art for you for a second. And then you have, these are brand new. You have all these business graphics. So instead of trying to make some of these yourself, look how many are already built right in for you. Now, it's called Smart Art because when you pick on one of those, they're going to have words that you can uh, change as well. So you can customize all those different business graphics. But look at, yeah, some of them are more scientific as well. There's a target. You know, there's a different target that you can use. There's some organization charts in here. Right? So maybe we'll make another video just about inserting those. But I just wanted to show you what a smart art is all about. Uh, so let's go back to the insert menu. You can do a chart, but uh, you really should do that from Excel. We'll do that in a, in a different video. You can do a hyperlink. Now, a hyperlink has to be associated to a picture or a piece of text. So for example, uh, I'm going to pick on that car. And let's say when we click on the car, we want it to go up to the NASCAR website. So I'm going to go ahead and pick on hyperlink. And I'm just going to say www.nascar.com. So that means when I click on that, now by the way, it could have also been a file for my computer or even an email address or a website. I'm going to click on OK. So that means when I click on the picture, when the, when the presentation runs, it would go to the NASCAR website. Um, now, uh, we'll do an action in a different video. We can do a text box. Then uh, these you probably know about, word art, the date and time. Oh, let's do this. The slide number. I want to add the slide number to each slide. So I'll click on slide number. Now you could even add the date and time there, but I just want the slide number. And I'm going to say apply to all. And notice what that did for you right over here. It put the slide number on each slide. So that was really quick and easy. We said insert slide number. Insert object is kind of interesting. This is where you would pick a file from a different uh, application and be able to insert that entire file into your PowerPoint. Maybe we'll make another video about that. Uh, this is kind of interesting. Insert equation is all about a scientific uh, different uh, formulas that you can add in. Others are built right in for you. Now, notice how symbol is not lit up. That's the, that has to be within a text box. So I'll say insert text box. Now within the text box, then I can pick on insert and then symbol. And then you have many, many symbols you can choose from. Uh, this happens to be a font called Wingding. So there's lots of graphics, but there's many other symbols that you can use, as we can see. Uh, different language characters, mathematical symbols. Uh, you may not know about this, but I just picked a font. Now you come over here, and let's say I wanted to go to mathematical symbols. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of those. So this kind of gives you a sub a sublisting. Latin symbols. I mean, there's so many of these. There's the copyright, there's the registered. So let's say I want the copyright symbol. You pick on that, and you pick on insert. You can pick more than one if you wanted to. And now that symbol is in your text box. But you had to make a text box first before you had that. So these are all great ways to add different graphics onto your slide. Most of it starts with the insert menu, as we can see. Uh, a table, a picture, with a, you know any kind of photograph. Then we did the clip art, which is the built-in graphics for, um, for PowerPoint. The screenshot was great. That's how you can pick a part of a screen from another program. You have your geometric shapes. I showed you part of the smart art. Um, then uh, the chart is one way to do that. The hyperlink, remember you have to click on a picture first and then pick on hyperlink. Text box, 
word art, date and time. Remember the slide number? That was very easy. An object is uh, maybe the full file from a different program, maybe a PDF or an Excel file there. And then we have the equation. Remember, to use a symbol, you have to click on the text box first. Then you can pick on symbol. And there's many symbols like that. So that should give you an idea of how to start to apply your graphics onto um, your PowerPoint slide. Of course, once those graphics are on there, you can click on it and then resize it or drag it around and move it. You can even rotate it. And then usually when you click on a picture, you can pick on the format menu up top to have even more formatting options for those pictures.